Look at that. You're gonna eat it and you're gonna love it. Got my blue light glasses on. They look really cool. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Full Day of Eating, 2.4 weeks out of dishing, I think. Under 250 pounds now, so we're in a good spot. Definitely gonna make weight. Over two weeks to lose like eight pounds or so. It's easy, I've done much worse in the past. So I'm gonna be taking you through everything I'm eating right now at this point, and I think it's cool because last year, to get the conditioning I am, I was eating a lot less. So I'll show you guys. I will pull up what I ate last year calorie wise. I think it's 15, 1600 calories around now. And then we'll see what I'm eating today because I haven't fully calculated it because honey typically goes by carbs and fats from carbs and fat sources. So yeah, we're gonna get to it. But I'm gonna be making some oats. I'm very indecisive with flavoring right now. So I'm gonna be mixing half a scoop of cookie and cream, half a scoop of vanilla oatmeal cookie because you know, life gets boring and cook. You gotta switch things up. Cooking it on the soap top gets the best way to do it. So I get 80 grams of oatmeal in the morning, which is a pretty hefty amount for me. In the past it's gone down to like 40, 50-ish, so I'm not complaining about this. I still haven't perfected the art of cooking these things prep mode, because I like chewy oats, so minimal water, and Courtney's the queen of cooking those. But in prep, I want more volume, so I add more water. So hopefully I don't fuck this up for the video. I've literally thrown oats out twice in a row before in the garbage because I'm not wasting calories on shitty oats in prep. It's the right burner? It's the wrong burner. Turn the wrong burner on every morning. So I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit. When it gets a little bit warm, I'm gonna add the protein in and then mix it up, lower the heat, and keep mixing. Hopefully it fluffs up a little bit. And then I'm gonna cook my eggs when the when they're a little closer to ready because I don't want my eggs to get cold. So first, I'm going to make my little drink concoction and I'll show you guys just what that is. Shake is available at Vitamin Shop, by the way. You don't have one. Alright, so this is far from exciting, but just for a little bit of a gut and digestion health. Do one scoop of glutamine every morning. I used to put this in my pancakes or shake, but I don't want to put it in my house, so it's going to be kind of weird. Next, I do a equivalent of a teaspoon of psyllium whole husk fiber. It's a soluble fiber just to help me move stuff along and go to the bathroom every single day. Okay, I think you need some of this. We also, straight up, I'll say this, we have a revive fiber and it tastes absolutely amazing, but I'm trying to avoid excess sweetener right now and there's a little bit of sweetener and it could taste so good. This is unflavored, it tastes like ass and it's super grainy and it's kind of honestly disgusting. But it is what it is right now. And then I do a scoop of betaine. And this can help with inflammation markers if you get blood work done and your homocysteine is high. So this is something that can help with that. So it's just literal pure betaine anhydrous. And that's pretty much the extent of that. So I'm gonna mix this up with a spoon. I don't know if you can see. See how grainy that is? That's why this fiber is nasty, but not blend. And that's why you don't put it in shakes or anything because it's just gross. You sure that's not dirt? It might just be dirt, but my grandma said dirt's good for the immune system. If you're taking fiber, you want to make sure you're drinking a lot of water. Otherwise, it can have the wrong effect and actually just, like, constipate you. But I'm drinking like two gallons plus of water a day right now, so I'm good. So if you're adding more fiber to your diet, make sure you're drinking a little bit more water too. So this is heating up. No. Just put some green in there for a little, little kick, you know? Just a little something different. I used to be obsessed with chocolate oats in the morning. I don't know, this year, I'm a vanilla guy. Even my ice creams I was making later in the day, I've been using vanilla, so maybe I'm maturing to a boring vanilla adult. Son of a bitch. Wasted a full gram of oats. Alright, so that's getting cooked. Now I'll start the eggs. 
Yeah. Let's see if you can spray. We're going hardcore. It's right there. It's empty. Oh. Just for the whole egg portion. Tank it a bit a little harder. We'll see how this works out. grams of egg whites. <sighs> Beautiful. I gotta keep mixing this up. This is the boring part. You just gotta wait. A lot of scraps. I know. Flattened you out of cooking spray. Ooh, damn, I almost broke that yolk. That yolk, though. Rookie pan, beautiful yolk. Take what you can get. You should get a hex clad pan. A what? Hex clad pan. Courtney just ordered. Do you see a giant box in the garage? Courtney just ordered. I don't even know how much pans and stuff. So, let's see if those are any better. I just got hex clad for my place. I've never heard of that. The Gordon Ramsay uses them. Remember the commercial for Gotham Steel pans? No. I got hooked into buying one. They were the worst thing I ever bought. It lasted a week. It was like an infomercial back in the day. Oh. The dumbass got cut. Like the fucking, uh, like with the flex seal kind of stuff? Yeah. <laughs> hex clad Santa pans. Probably what your hex clad is there. Here's the final touch. I've been, I think I mentioned in my last video, but I'm actually measuring my sodium. Last year I shit the bed, cut sodium too early, wasn't sure how much I was eating, and just wasn't tracking properly. So this year, I'm not making that same mistake. And in the morning, I do two eighths of a teaspoon on breakfast, and then every other meal I do one eighth of a teaspoon. But this plus I get a little bit from my mustard or pre-workout or other supplements I take that have sodium in it. So I'm at least being consistent right now, know what I'm getting in. If I have to taper down, taper up, make weight. When we pull carbs, whatever it may be, we know just what to do. So there you have it, beautiful breakfast. Do you want me to calculate it? I mean, they want you to calculate it. Maybe I was talking to they. All right, so beautiful, not real beautiful, but everything can taste here right now. Final product, 590 calories from this. Um, don't ask me the macros, because I don't know, but there's 22 plus 53 grams of protein from protein sources, not including notes, and that's breakfast. 590 calories, ready to go down. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat. All right, so meal number two. A little late, I was trying to lie down. Didn't fall asleep, very tired. Slept like poo last night. But I can eat some white fish right now, so life is beautiful. This meal consists of, we got new cutlery. Got a little washed. Some beautiful new forks. This meal will consist of 200 grams of fresh Atlantic cod. I don't eat tilapia, that's bad for you. Not bad for you, it's not an optimal fish to eat. Wow, how much is left? It's 100, 201. I'm cheating on my diet today. So, 201 grams of fresh Atlantic cod, and then I have 150 grams of rice. A lot of people in my last video, it's completely unrelated, they're asking what the sushi maker is, it's called, or sushi, geez, uh, rice maker. It's called Zoji Rushi. I got it on Amazon, but it stays hot like this. 
I feel like that's more like Asian culture to keep your eyes out warm all the time and just like ready to rock. David Lay actually put me onto this thing. It's pretty clutch. You just throw it in there, hit start, and it stays warm forever and it tells you how long it stays warm for. So I keep it in there sometimes for like four days. I've been eating it all year and I haven't died yet. So it is what it is. I got 150 grams of white rice and then I instacarted a bunch of um, shredded lettuce because shredded lettuce gets you shredded, but it hasn't come in yet. But I got a bunch of asparagus here. Sprinkle that on top. Nice and crispy because crispy vegetables are a goat vegetable. I'm not like a half cooked al dente vegetable kind of guy. I like my shit crispy. I like it a little black, but not too black, so I'm not getting too many carcinogens. And then the really appetizing looking meal, eh? Yeah. Oh, delicious. So it looks like you just put grass in your meal. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Heat that up, and while that is heating up, I will let you guys know the calories because I'm doing that this time. All right, so that meal comes to 358 calories. From the cod, I'm getting approximately 35, 40 grams of protein. Rice is coming out to about 43 grams of carbs from that bad boy. And that's a little baby meal, to say the absolute least. 12.54, she's not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. All right, so there it is. This looks like absolute trash, but you'd be surprised how good this cod actually tastes to me right now. Normally I'd sprinkle my shredded lettuce on there for a little bit of volume, but um, for now, we'll stick with some sriracha because one of the goat condiments that was ever made. There you have it. Meal number two. Shredded for the Olympia. Delicious. All right, here we go. In the world's most boring full day of eating, round 100. Meal number three is gonna be my pre-workout meal. Sadly, Instacart failed on me and they had no shredded lettuce. So I had to shred my own lettuce. This head of iceberg lettuce, I think that is. I don't even know. But the girl flaked on me. She said, there's no shredded lettuce, so you're not gonna get shredded, bro. And I said, that's not cool, bro. Gotta get shredded. So that's what we got instead. But I have 175 grams of rice this time pre-workout. It's a tiny bit more than my last meal. And then I'm having turkey. I either have turkey or chicken breast in this meal. Turkey is absolutely nothing on it, but it's 98% lean, 2% fat turkey. I guess I could be getting 99%, but I'm not that hardcore. and I don't want it to be that dry. So it's 180 grams turkey and then zucchini. Zucchini are one of like the most easily digestible, low calorie um, vegetables that was ever made. So one of my go-tos during prep, especially before the gym. I know I can digest turkey really easy, even easier than fish. Rice is nothing, it's lettuce is nothing, zucchini is nothing, so I go to the gym and my stomach feels empty, feels good, because when you're bad, bad digestion, you don't feel good, you're just like, your energy's low on you. It's not good, it's no bueno. So I'm gonna heat this up, add my shredded lettuce, and then put a little salt on, and then a little mustard, get to the gym. There you have it. Beautiful, clean, delicious, crunchy meal. This comes out to about 420 calories. It's always sad when a meal for me is under 500 calories, but pretty much all of them except breakfast are right now. So, it's gonna be it. I'm gonna put this down. Some caffeine in me, some pre-workout. Try to wake my ass up, go to the gym, train some arms, and then I'll see you guys for post-workout shake or meal number four, depending how I feel after the gym. Create your own shredded lettuce to get shredded. Maybe that's the maybe that's the the model for this year. Just do everything on your own. Do 
do everything on their own. Trust no one, rely on no one. Yeah. Maybe next year for prep, instead of getting ground bison, you can just go hunt for it and venison and stuff. And 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 tilapia, and, or sorry, cod. Bow and arrow only. Spear fishing and bow and arrow. We go hunt bison, the bow, salmon, 1883. You should reach out to Steve Rinella and see if he'll collab. Netflix collab. Are you gonna get canceled if I say I don't know who that is? Uh, it's I know Steve who Cameron Ames is. He's a hunter too, right? I don't know. I just know Steve Rinella because I'm the meat eater on Netflix. Yeah, you'll probably get canceled. Sorry. You know you can use a spatula, right? Oh, you have um, to flip them one at a time. Make sure both sides get crispy. Use chopsticks. Why well, wouldn't you just use a knife? Because then you'll scratch the pan. I'm not touching the pan. I'm stabbing it and turning it over. I'm not taking your cooking skills, that's for sure. All right, post-workout meal. Same bullshit. You know, you guys gotta get real bored here. I got 180 grams of ground turkey. We got some shredded lettuce by shredded by yours truly. I got some zucchini fried up and 150 grams of white sweet jasmine rice. I'm gonna mix up some sriracha and some mustard to make some spicy mustard and crush that down. <clears throat> Something I did want to point out though, and some random tips that I've been doing a little bit very tiny little differences I've been doing this year though that help. That honey is kind of like just like you know sprinkling these little. 0.1% extra on so that they add up to another percent or two. Breakfast, you saw I was typically will do my cardio, maybe stretch, maybe chill, maybe shower, do all this stuff and then eat breakfast. Now it's like I get off the treadmill, I come in and I eat breakfast so we eat as soon as possible because I don't want to be in, um, is that word again? Catabolic. Catabolic for that long. And I want to just get my metabolism going, get my digestion going early in the morning so that my meals are as spread out as possible. And then I can eat my meals earlier in the day and then spread my meals out. Also post-workout, instead of having a shake and then postponing my meal and not having any carbs, I've been having my last carb meal immediately after I train. So I come home and just have this meal, no showering again, just eat it really quick. And then I go shower and then I have my shake afterwards and just getting the carbs in post-workout, help my body utilize them a little bit better when I need them. And you know, tiny little things that just allow my meals to be spread out more, whereas I've mentioned before in the past, I used to eat all my meals in like a seven hour period in the day. My metabolism began to slow down, my energy was a lot worse, and I mean, calculated at the end of the day now, but I think I'm eating around 21, 2200 calories at the moment. And last year when I was in this condition, I was lighter, and I was eating like 1600 calories. So 500 calories is a big difference, that's like, what is that, like 25% or something, which is a fucking lot. So, and you, you know, I notice it, I feel it, I'm exhausted, but my energy is at least a little bit better and you know, a little bit more food is just always a good thing. The more you can eat while getting lean is the best for a bodybuilder because it means you have more muscle, you're utilizing it better and everything's just running a little bit more optimally. So these are the tiny little things, just kind of like adding 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, and if you do enough of them, you gain a percent and you're that much better. And when you're at the Olympia level, all of us are fucking the best of the best of what we do. So we got to kind of inch forward in every single way we can. So that's about that though. So I'm hungry and we eat this. So see you for the next meal or my shit. So um, this is my first time trying this to this extent of planning, you could say. But I just just finished that last meal you saw me film, and now I'm gonna make my shake into like a little ice cream thing, and then I'm gonna put it in the freezer and leave it in there for like a little bit. Probably gonna forget about it, and I'm probably gonna eat it for now. It's probably gonna be too hard, and I'm probably not gonna really eat it. But I'm gonna try and remember to stir it and see if I can make it like a little bit more of a frozen ice cream of sort. So ice from the fridge, water. Once glutamine, again, I had that morning and night, and then cinnamon crunch cereal. I don't know what's going on with this protein, but this has been my favorite flavor of this prep to drink as like a, a smoothie or ice cream just with water. It's very delicious, so I haven't even tried it in oats actually, but I've just been having it in my ice creams after, so. 
it's been satisfying. Are you allowed ZVS? Am I allowed ZVS? Yeah. Yeah, but I try, I'm trying not to have too much. You should make like a root beer float. No, no. I try not to have too much artificial shit right now. Avoiding what I can. Water and pre-workout and protein. And I always put too little water in it and it doesn't blend. It's life. It literally sounds like a fucking saw blade table. Somehow it lasted a year of me doing this shit. So shout out to Nutribullet. This thing actually broke from me doing that because the engine overheats because it's working so hard and it broke. And then I put it in my drawer for like a month and I took it back out and it kept working. So it's awesome. In fact, like there's a little too much water in that though. It's blended almost too easily. That's pretty good. Now we're gonna stick this in the freezer. I'll see you guys in an hour. Look at that. That's frosty level shit. Frosty. Hey, you still haven't gotten your frosty and fries. I'm not. You're gonna. Vegas. I actually am so annoyed that you're just like playing this part that you wouldn't love that because like you. Dude, that's. You gross. are someone who eats weird shit always. Yeah, but that's just. I'm like. I don't know. Just, I just can't. Just look. You're gonna eat it and you're gonna love it. This is the final product of the shake. The top gets a little frozen, a little bite. Almost like real ice cream, and that's that. I'm gonna put this down. Got my blue light glasses on to look really cool. Then we're gonna watch a show and protecting my eyes before bed so I can rest and sleep easy because biohacking. Right, babe? Yeah, I'm so proud of you. But yeah, this is it. We're gonna watch 1883. We're gonna relive our Red Dead Redemption days through this TV show and see you guys for my last meal. Welcome to the final meal of the day. AKA the saddest thing you'll ever see. It's not that bad. It's kind of depressing, it's but pretty small. it is what it is. Pretty, pretty, pretty bad. It's like lunchable size. Yeah, it's pretty bad, yeah. But it's 180 grams of turkey combined with chicken because I didn't have enough of either, so I mixed what I had left in the fridge. A little bit of zucchini, and that's all she wrote. So this is gonna be a wrap on today's full day of eating, 2.5 weeks out of the Olympia. How many days away are we, babe? 16? Fridge says 16, it's gotta be 16. So, getting down to it. I don't know if my food's gonna have to get lower than this. My weight's still slowly dropping, but I will keep you guys in tune if it does. I'm hoping it doesn't, but I probably will just to make weight because I'm still like eight pounds over my limit right now. So, working on getting down there. I'm very much in shape where I need to be right now for two and a half weeks out, but I can always be leaner. And again, gotta make that weight. So, anyways, I'm gonna go over what the macros are for this. I'm at, this is very approximate. I don't trust my fitness pal at all, but that's what I'm using to track it. Total calories is 2,177 calories, 199 grams of carbs, 19 grams of fat, and 284 grams of protein. So nothing crazy, nothing wild, but enough to get the job done. So I'm gonna eat this, finish the show, and probably put a little mustard on this because it's a little dry. That's gonna be it, we're gonna call it a night. Go to bed, wake up, and do it all again. So, thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one.